Maths is so fun with Mr. Nun and my flowery shirt. What are we learning today? Well, today we're going to recap on multiplying fractions. But before we do that, here's my shirt for today. It's a lovely purple Ted Baker shirt that I purchased on eBay about a year ago for about £17.41. A bargain. Brilliant. Let's move on to multiplying fractions. Okay. Quite a straightforward uh, procedure here. What we have to remember, multiplying fractions is completely different to adding or subtracting fractions. So don't get those confused. This is solely multiplying fractions. So just remember that we'll look at adding and subtracting fractions in a future video. Okay, multiplying fractions. What you need to do to multiply fractions is you multiply the numerator by the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. So let's do that. One times three equals... Three! Correct. And three times four equals... Twelve! Fantastic. So there, simple, that, simple as that, you have your answer. The answer is three twelfths. But I'm looking at that and I'm thinking that needs simplifying. It's not in its simplest form, that fraction. Um, what times table is three and twelve in? Three! A three times table. Yeah, so let's have a look at that. Let's divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. four. Fantastic. So, 1 third multiplied by 3 quarters equals 1 quarter. I'm going to give you one to do at home now. And then I want you to freeze this film, have a go, and see whether you get the same answer as me. Let's have a go. 2 thirds multiplied by 1 eighth. Okay, if you want to freeze yourself at home now and have a go at that. Okay, I'm on frozen now. Let's do it together. Multiply the numerators together. 2 times 1 equals 2. Multiply the denominators together. 3 times 8 equals 24. Next question, can I simplify that fraction? Yes! yes I can. Oh, good, can I? Great. What times table is 2 and 24 in? Twos. Two times table, brilliant. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 24 divided by 2 equals 12. 12. So if you got 1 12th, you're correct. If you got 2 24ths, you are correct, but you just need to simplify your fraction. Okay, that's the end of Maths with Mr. Nunn for today. Um, on our next programme, we will look at di uh, dividing fractions. Uh, but for now, maths is so fun with Mr. Nunn and his groovy shirts.